Hello friends, this is Ganesh and in this video I'm going to explain uh, the basic design of the Adobe layout. I must hope you're doing good. So most of the time we are going to um, develop or spend in a layout area of Adobe design. So I thought let's explain about the master page and design view a little bit further and what is the triggering point of the master page, how the multiple master page are dealing with uh, design views and little technically so what is the content area and what is the sub form. So how it's mapped with the master page content area. So going forward, a uh, little more technical uh, terms we are going to use like subform content area rather than design view master page. So that is quite easy to understand even the existing design also. Okay, so that is the idea of this uh, session. So let's get into the slides first. <clears throat> So the first uh, we have a palette called object library. Uh, so object library, um, I think one minute. Okay, sorry, it's not object library. It just uh, copied the existing. Um, you call the PPT. So that is the reason. So this is a master page which we are going to uh, see now. So multiple master pages. Suppose for example. Uh, because okay over here so I have a page set uh, I explained previously about the page set and it, it contains a lot of multiple pages so uh, by design I have three master pages and by default every master page has its own content area this is a mandatory option so you're not able to remove a content area from uh, means default content area from master page okay so i'm going to create three different master pages and i'm going to create three different body page or design view or sub form so whatever it is it's it belongs to the same so i'm going to uh, create three different sub forms okay and by default all three uh, sub forms are assigned to a master page default master page for example I've created a page one, page two, page three, and then I'm, I'm creating sub form one, two, three. Automatically, all the three are going to map with page one. Okay, so even though you have page one, page two, page three, at the output, you are, you are going to see only the master page one. So that is the basic design. Okay, so if you want to make or if you want to um, display or trigger the page, page two and page three, you need a triggering point. So by default, the second master page won't trigger automatically. Okay, so let's see uh, furthermore about that. <coughs> Excuse me. Suppose I have three pages, and I'm by default if I assign uh, all three go to the, my first master page. So in the output, you are able to see three PDF forms. So I'm going to have a very simple uh, component called text. So it's not going to be uh, followed to the next page. It's kind of a static page. So I'm going to uh, get three output, three pages in my PDF. Okay, so each one belongs to uh, one sub form. So each page, each output page belongs to uh, each sub form over here. And then um, by default, if you see the object uh, palette for a sub form, if you create a sub form by default, the pagination tab, the place is saying that following previous. So what are the following? The previous means for sub form two follow the previous form one and form three follow the uh, form sub two okay sub form two so that is the default option if you create a sub form now i want to change my sub form um, we call mapping like sub form one and two for page one sub form three for page three master page three so then what happens in the output uh, you have two pages from master page one and one page from master page three Still, master page two is not displayed because it's there is no triggering point happen for master page two. So here the triggering point happens for page one and page one anyway is default. Page three only it's happened not for page two. Okay, so uh, for that you can see 
in the same object palette under the uh, tab called pagination uh, I, I voluntarily change the following previous to on page page 3 for the subform 3 then what happens it triggers the page 3 master page also along with the subform 3 content okay so the basic idea is if you want to trigger the uh, after the default master pages you need a trigger points we have a few trigger points to make page two, uh, uh, page three to be enabled. So those are, <coughs> it's like in the pagination, in the subform pagination, this is not a page object details or properties. This is the subform properties. You have subform details over here. So for the pagination, you can say on page, page three, or you can say place the subform in a content area, P2C. Actually, this is, I got changed. P2C is nothing but page to content area i renamed the content area okay so page to ca so you need some triggering point for make your master page to be enabled in your output so by default a few other options are available the same subform uh, object property pagination is top of next page what happens is top of next page is going to reflect the same master page not the new one so here also top of next content area also refer to the same master page not the new page 2 and page 3 it's very simple in the smart forms you have a main window you have another window so automatically what happens everything is go to the main window if the data is extends to the next uh, next window next page automatically it's copied the uh, all the main window to the next page also same thing over here also so if there is no trigger happens for especially for the other master pages it will always take the page one master page means the, the default master page so this is a little uh, easy and uh, if you understand this process it's very easy to uh, create a new especially if you want to understand the existing smart forms or adobe forms this will help you okay understand the design how the existing uh, or the other developer design this adobe forms and uh, okay So now um, just a data flow I want to show you this page one and page two uh, the concept of how the page one is is going with the page two based on the data so for that I'm going to use an uh, internal table to uh, show how it creates the another page with uh, whatever contents we have okay so for that what I'm going to do is I have page one and I am then page one content area. So inside the page content area I have a subform and inside subform I have my business data. So basically it's an internal table. Okay. So so this was I'm going to uh, make uh, design to understand the master and multiple master pages and the subform. Okay. And there are two options for this like position or flawed. So for the subform actually, for the subform you have two options, position or flawed. So position is nothing but a static. So you have 100 lines of data in an internal table and you made your subform as a position. It's a static design. So it, it can be accommodate only uh, like 25 lines. Then what happens is only the 25 lines to be visible in your output. The remaining 75 gets, it's, it's ignored because we made the subform as position. And inside the subform, you have the internal table, basically the data. But if you made the subform as flawed, what happens is it allows or it creates the continuous output pages, like PDF pages based on the same design and based on the same data. So one first page contains only 25 lines. So it allows to create four subforms, like uh, four pages, okay, four pages, if you made uh, the option as flawed, okay? So with the help of these two, we are going to understand a little better about the master page and the subform. Okay, that's it. Uh, we'll get into the system now. Uh, this is my handle um, system. So let's have quick interface which needs, which has um, data. Data create save. Description is optional. If you want, you can make it. Then go to types. Types. Beginners. Just 
And I need the types table type of PO table of structure PO. That's it. Then go to global data create IT PO type DT PO. Okay. Let me activate this. <coughs> Excuse me. And create a form CGI interface data let's say design CGI interface data local object okay so now go to layout by default you will get one page set and one page and then content area I'm going to create three different master pages and then create some forms as well okay so one defaults of form also I don't want this now so I have page one content area so you can rename by right click or F2 is a shortcut so this is page one content area and I need to create multiple pages new master page and then one more master page so okay I want this to be here okay, page two and this is going to be to content area and this is going to be page 3 content area so I have three master pages let me create a sub form also okay before sub form um, let me have a text for each master page it's con coming under content area so go to object was in the good place I need object library Excuse me. Yeah. I need a text and this is master page 1 and then uh, content area of master page 2 this is master page 2 Finally, master page three. Okay, I, okay, I, <coughs> excuse me, I double click both times. So, master page three. So, for a change, uh, you can have little change in your design if you want. Okay, I need. Um, sorry. Master page is going to be landscape. Okay. And master page 2, maybe I can change my content area like this. And have this here. Text. Okay. So make sure the hierarchy also is doing good. So once you go to the smart form property pagination it's doing following previous so I have three master pages but if you see the output I don't have uh, multiple sub forms I have only one form so and the three master pages but still it displays only one page in your output because we didn't uh, explicitly trigger the master page two and three so you will get only one page as an output so because there is no triggering point okay I, I have to add the sub text for a sub form also so only one master page so let me add a few things and see how the output looks uh, layout so here layout I need some text over here uh, this is body page one okay so now I'm going to have one more sub page new and one more sub page 
sub page sorry oh, sorry sub form no, it's not page So here, um, even if you see, go and see the object, it shows top of next page and page 3 also shows top of next page. So page 2 or page 3 is not in the picture as of now. But I have three subforms, right? So for a, a easy identification, let me have a text. So this is my second subform, there is nothing. This is my first subform, body page 1. The tab is also design view, control tab also goes to design view tab. And if you go to subform 2, still it shows in a master page 1. Okay. So here you have master page 1, body page 1, master page 1, empty. This is obviously subform 2. And master page 1, also empty. So here itself you are able to see 3 uh, pages, 3 master pages are repeating because of the subform. So previously it was 1, now you have 3 master pages. Means uh, same master page is repeat three times. So that is nothing but your default master page, master page one. So let me have a content. So text. Master page one. Body page two. In here, text body page two, sorry, three. So, in the design level itself, you're able to understand where our subform is getting added. Okay, that's it. Save, activate, and execute. Now, execute. One more time, print preview, open. So I have three pages, master page one, body page one, master page one, body page two, master page one, body page three. So irrespective of, sorry, irrespective of your soft forms, the master page, default master page is getting repeated, okay? So this is a static one, same thing is happens if you add a data also. So now we need to trigger master page 2 and 3 based on our requirement. So what I had to do was you have an option. So when your subform 2 gets triggered, my subform 2 triggers on master page 2 and my subform 3 triggers on master page 3, then we need to change the pagination of the subform. <coughs> Excuse me. So here the subform saying um, following previous, I'm good with that. And page two, I need this to be added top, sorry, on page, page two. So here also you have something like top of next content area, it won't work. Top of content area, uh, P1CA, again, it goes to master page one. P2CA, it triggers master page two. So there are a few options to trigger your master pages. So now first I'm going to say I'm on top of or on page, I can say on page, page two. So here itself automatically it gets changed. Okay, master, your subform 2 is assigned to master page 2 now. Now, <coughs> excuse me. So go here. Um, this is by default, this comes to master page 2. Reason behind, it shows by default is top of next page. So the previous page for uh, subform 3 is subform 2 only. So that is the reason it's going to add it in the master page 2. So now if I change this to master page 3. So now the subform 3 is assigned to master page 3. Okay. So let's get uh, see the output. So this is very important to understand based on the design how your uh, output pages are determined to display. Okay. So print review, open. So here also I have three pages. But now if you see master page 1, body page 1. In master page 2, body page 2, and master page 3, body page 3. Okay, so if this is not happen, it will follow the previous master page. It may be master 1 or master 2. As you uh, as you have seen, master the body page 3, the subform is also assigned to master page 2 because it shows top of the next page. 
So what is the next page for uh, subform 3 is nothing but master page 2 only. It's following the previous one, simple. Okay. So now if you have the content, let's see how it uh, displays. Hope this is gives some little idea about how the uh, rest of means additional master pages are getting triggered. So I always prefer like even model pool also before writing a logic just have a empty normal screen, empty uh, sub screen, empty model dialog box, multiple pages, multiple screens, have a simple button next to previous and try to understand how the sub screens are working, how the model dialog box are working. So once you understand the design then writing a logic is it's same from SC38 from starting a report also we are going to write the same logic. Okay. Try to understand the design of the application or transaction, then it's very easy for your development. So now uh, I need to go to my interface because I didn't write the logic like select query. So go to code initialization and write the logic here. Change. Select MLN. From EKPO to table ID underscore PO. So I need only few data. So up to 100 rows. Okay, so uh, this is going to be output ID underscore PO. Save it. So I'm writing this in an interface area the where we can write the code. Then go back to the Adobe Forms, go to the layout. Okay, so now I'm going to add, okay, first I need to go to the con context because uh, the medium to be placed in the context. So this is my medium, drag and drop it here and go to layout. So here I'm going to keep this in my first page. Okay, so some few changes to be done over here. So first go here and this is my body page one, right? I'm going to drag and drop the data medium so for that you got to go to a data view it's actually here it's a data view or you can able to use this option data view so this is my data view drag and drop it here so there is no insufficient space because of the uh, space the what you call uh, technical aspects so data length uh, it's getting it's not able to place it properly so let me close yes let me close other things so a little visible so we have some space in the layout okay so here i need the space right okay so like this you're able to just make some changes so initially is a little tough um, then it's fine so these are, it says misspelled text. So this one, uh, purchase order and everything. So if you want, you can just change it. Okay. So now uh, I have placed it in the uh, subform one. So subform one is placed in page one. Okay. And my page one, sorry, subform one property is not flawed. Go to object. It shows it's following the previous one. Okay. <clears throat> so here, um, Sorry, uh, that should be in the subform. Go to the subform property. So here you have the content. So content, how the content is going to display. It. Position is static or flawed. It's going to be um, create the other pages if it is required based on the data level, data uh, count. I can say. So now it's positioned. It's fine. So what happens is it will display only in the first page. So how many space, how many records can accommodate in the page one, master page one. Talking about only that. Uh, master page is going to accommodate that, uh, that particular records. So I have uh, 100 records in my internal table. So print preview. So I have uh, three pages. Yes, because voluntarily we uh, triggered page master page two and three. That is the reason I have three pages. But technically you have only one page is accommodated your data only like this. So still it's trying to continue, but it's not because this sub form is positioned okay so if you make this flawed what happens is it creates uh, the pages for master page one it it's continues master page one for the data 
maybe five or six pages then seventh page this master page two triggers then eighth page master page three triggers let's see how it works so go back go back go back a small change go to layout go to the sub form and change the content option as flawed page one so form, so form one then sub form content slot okay by default stop to bottom allow page breaks with content that's fine all the basic stuff is required so go to context and add to word then execute so now all the master three master page triggers but master page one is uh, triggers more than one time based on the data Execute, interview, open. So you have very good. Okay, it has only three. I, I'll show you. This is also one of the things which we need to understand. So master page one, master page two, master page three. Master page one is not flawed. Like it's it's not go to the next uh, page. Even though we triggered the we we just set all the. Uh, properties but we have one more thing to be checked because by default your data this one okay uh, data medium whatever you drag and drop the data medium there is a check mark over there uh, we need to make sure it's also to be checked over here go to object so okay pagination is following previous is fine and the, both the table here it shows allow page break within content so that needs to be checked if not it will not go to the next page also this is one of the settings to be made okay let's come here save add to it then execute execute one more time open so now you have six pages so master page one is repeating based on the data so this is 74 and this is 829 start with and this is 275 so it's done the data is concluded over here like 100 records are displayed and then it goes to master page two with sub form two and master page three with sub form, sub form three okay so I hope this gives some basic idea about the master and sub forms, how it's getting uh, triggered uh, based on the content or based on the property which we set in the design level. Okay, so just play around with this. Uh, make sure you are good with the design. Then any any type of uh, complex or any type of uh, requirement we're able to handle, whether it can be a new or uh, the existing changes in the existing Adobe forms. Okay. So thank you so much for your time. See you in the next video. Bye.